Friday and big big welcome to our Friday live class. So anybody that's watching, so you know the score, what we want you to do now is comment below, let us know what part of the country you're watching in from, could be a little bit shaky there for a minute, they're just, just adjusting the cameras. So let us know where you're watching in from and sure obviously we want to know what is the weather like because today in Dublin it's a beautiful morning. It's absolutely freezing, you know what I mean, but not icy, like there was no frost on the cars. Sky is blue, few clouds out there, don't think we're going to have any rain, and the sun is shining. So to be honest, it gives you a little bit of a lift to look out at it. Whether when you're out there, you probably need your big bully jumpers on, but you're listening, hopefully, very soon, the weather is going to improve. So we have anybody watching so far, dear? Yeah, we have Sabina is on, she's saying hello, hey, Sabina, and it's sunny in County Leash at the moment. Lovely. Seems to be nice, I think, all over the country. I was talking to some of the students earlier, in the bloom room and they all seem to think Trisha is up in and pop and she's Trisha from Poplar Row hey, and Trisha, the weather is massive she's just had to be out walking and um, M. Brehnock is watching in from Brussels big big welcome how are you so again you know the score we want us to share and what are we going to be doing today so I'm going to do a wreath on a moss frame so a lot of you hadn't seen us using moss yet so we're going to use a moss frame but also I'm going to show you how to use a twig base one okay so this will be really easy and really simple so I hope people have their notebooks and pen ready that we can kind of give you a few notes as we go along so last week we had an amazing giveaway prize from the company and seeing Trisha is watching she can be our secretary today right. because Sinead is missing today for us um, Trisha so I need somebody to put in the links for me okay <laughs> so our, and I know you love lying to me sure listen sure she's the best in the world so last week we had an amazing company called Evergreen Silk Plants in RD County Loud. So Trish is now going to tag them for me and she'll put up the link maybe to their website and their Facebook page and their Instagram page. And you never know, Charlie could be watching here himself and they could post them all in the comments below. And I demonstrated last week how to do um, a little silk arrangement, a little basket arrangement, and we used the agro wool. You know, that way, keeping it kind of environmentally friendly, showing you how you could use it. And there seemed to be a great reaction to the silk flowers. Everybody was mad about them. And he gave away an amazing prize of a mystery box. And it went to Eileen McEaney. McEarney, McEaney, how do you say that? McEaney. McEaney. Anyway, that's you. And if you're not too sure, go over to the Evergreen Silk Plant page because he has On all Facebook, the details. Yeah. Facebook page and Instagram page. And he has the winner announced. Now, a little bird told me that there might be another prize today. Is that right, dear? There might be another prize, yeah. So what I'm going to be using, I'll probably start with the fresh first, but just so that you know what the story is. And you know me, I'm going to be using a glue gun today, so I might have to hop from one thing to the other. But um, he has these fabulous rings, twig rings, okay? And he has them in other colours. I just thought the lilac was different. Now, the white one is a little bit bigger, just to kind of let you see. And again, he could have these in different colours. These are just a couple of samples that he just sent out to me to kind of show. So the best thing to do is go onto his website and have a look. But these are very reasonably priced. And he's, he deals with both public and obviously wholesale. So if anybody's from the flower business, get in contact with them, but for anybody that's the public, again, and his prices are very reasonable. I think this is 725, like this, you know what I mean, like that is a bargain. Not sure what the slightly larger one is. Again, refer all the questions to Charlie. So these are- uh, Thank you, uh, Trisha. Trisha has just tagged them. Fair play to you. I knew I could rely <laughs> on her. And I wanted to do something else in a minute, okay? Look up Sue Wales' link, okay? Because I need to- And Sue Wade is actually on watching on Brilliant. Instagram, so-, so might be able to post Oh no, she's on course. watching on Facebook, actually. So right. yeah, even okay. better. So, so hang on, Sue Whale, well, you're our secretary over on Facebook today, our, our virtual you assistant. The links over there. <laughs> Sinead is missing in action here, so we don't have any virtual assistant here today. So these are uh, a silk phalaenopsis um, orchid that again was from Charlie Catner. Was it 190? 190. I think, I it, think was. it was 190. Again, absolute bargain, and you won't even need the full two stems. So you need two stems then. And um, I don't know what this one is supposed to be. Maybe Sue Whale will know. I don't know. <laughs> forget me not or whatever it was. He called it a filler. And I think it was, um, they're 50 cents. There's a couple of little stems in them. Do you see like that there? So they're 50 cents um, for a stem of these little fillers. And again, they're just going to work in perfect. You see, with what I'm going to use. So again, it's going to be very, very simple. Using the glue gun, not using any floral foam. Do you know that way? So hopefully I don't burn the fingers off me. But for anybody that would prefer a different colour one, because the white one is lovely as well, this is another beautiful um, 
bush that he had. So there's some gorgeous phoenix leaves there. You see at the back, right? We have a little bit of like, say, um, like the little baby gladiolis, and we have some roses and a little bit of filler as well. And you could do something very similar to what I'm doing today using that kind of bush. And if Charlie is watching, he can tell us how much is your bush, Charlie? <laughs> okay, so and then that's what I'm gonna be doing. Now, fresh wise, do you remember a couple of weeks ago, we had the big discussion about Manor Hamilton and where, what county was Manor Hamilton in? And we worked out it wasn't in Offaly and it wasn't in Donegal, it was in County Leitrim. And the thing is, we had two amazing uh, viewers, followers, who offered to get us both moss. in Manor Hamilton. Both in Manor Hamilton. Like, and the thing is, what happened was we got mixed up. I'm sure I thought I was talking to the same person on both occasions. So we had a Mary and we had, I think it was a Margaret. Yeah. So it's Mary's moss that we're using today because poor Margaret, we haven't actually had a chance. Tom hasn't had a chance to call in and collect the moss from you. Hopefully you still have it. Once you leave it outside, it'll be absolutely fine. So the bag of moss that I'm using today, and it was much bigger than this bag, was in a big black sack it was. And it was left with the vegetable fella in Manor Hamilton March. Do you know that way? And I think I told you about my brother-in-law forgot to collect it and he had to turn around, trailer, calves, cows, the whole lot, back down the road anyway to collect it. And I opened the bag this morning and just look at it. Do you know what I mean? To go, you couldn't buy out like that, no. to be honest. It's absolutely the most amazing moss. Do you know that way? So that's what I'm going to use today. There's no dirt There's in it. No dirt in it. Do you know that way? I don't know whether she washed it for us. I wouldn't say she did. But um, it's just amazing moss it is. It's, at, it's the best moss. Like it's nearly like she just took it up off the ground like carpet. Can you see? That's the back of it. And that's the front of it. Do you see the way, like if you get somewhere that the moss has grown, it literally just lifts up off the ground like carpet. You will get a few creepy crawlies in it. But you, this was picked about three weeks ago, wasn't it? You know that yeah. way? And sure, listen, they're all after running away. They probably all have to gone back to Manor, Manor Hamilton. They're all back down to Manor Hamilton. She they wouldn't like to be up here with the dubs. And anyway, with the 5K, the were <laughs> outside their county now. So they didn't want to break the law, so they stayed where they were. And we might just ask, um, guys, I know if you can share this, we would absolutely really, love it. Really appreciate because it. in the last three weeks, four weeks, Facebook have changed their algorithm once more. Mm -hmm. So of course, reach is even harder to get now on Facebook. So we really yeah. appreciate. Oh, and click share. And then yeah. you can always do it again, like later on. And you can also share it to a group maybe that you're a member of. The Rose Freesia Bush yeah. from Charlie is 10.92 and it comes in different colors. Oh, even better. So again, if you pop over to his page, you'll have all these photographs kind of posted on his page. And last week he was saying for the competition um, that he was all over the place he was trying to find, you know what I mean? Because we didn't really have, again, we're completely disorganized we were. And I said, she'll just go over and comment on his page. And she were commenting under, which was great for his algorithm anyway, is we're posting under every feckin' picture that he had on his Facebook page and his Instagram page. So today I said to him, because I warned him in advance that I was going to use the lilac ones. So I said, maybe post a photograph on your Facebook page of the twig ring and the Philanopsis orchids. You know the way, maybe in the one photograph. I haven't seen it, so I don't know what way he did it. So what he wants you to do today, he wants everything, he wants the shop kept tidy, okay? Pop over to his page, don't go yet, stay here for the moment, okay? Pop over to his page, and again, let him know that you're one of the Case Blair School students. Put a little comment, say, hi, Charlie, and his wife is called Paula, so you can say hello to Paula as well. And his daughter, I don't know what the daughter's name is, she looks after the social media pages. So put up a little hello, goodbye, little comment to them, and if you comment under the photograph with that material in it, he'll know then that you're in for the competition and he'll be giving something away. I think, um, is he giving away that set, is he? He might, you never yeah. know. Yeah. give away a set there. Either. Yeah, that would then, you can make that it yourself, yeah. Prize. I don't know, don't get involved. But again, I'm sure on his other uh, posts on the Facebook, he'll post up the other photographs of these because um, you wouldn't even need that whole bush there to make that. So you'd actually, that was, um, you know what I mean? It'd be less than 20 euros and you'd have the arrangement made. Maybe another week I can show you that one. Christina is watching in from Kalgoorlie in Western Australia. Welcome, Christina. Big, big hello, Christine. What's the weather like over in Australia? It has to be a bit warmer, I'd say, than it is here. And we'd love you to share it as well, Christine. And I see Caroline was watching in on YouTube from Soar. Um, she says it's lovely and sunny. The weather seems to be fairly good around the country at the moment. So today we're going to do, originally I was kind of saying summer reef, but I suppose it's not really summer yet. So it's probably still kind of spring, kind of summer. It's um, end of lockdown, nearly, end of lockdown, nearly end of yeah, lockdown. Nearly, yeah. 
me home, me home, Martin is going to be letting us all out very soon. Do you know that way? So it's just really something simple that people can make at home. Now, I know we had a lot of messages, and I know over in our Bloom Rooms this morning, our new students, and we were talking about these books, and that's how I had them out, and I said, sure, listen, we can talk about them again today. For anybody that's watching there and is interested in flowers, even if it's not commercial, even if it's just for yourself, or even growing um, foliage in your own garden, or using materials of your own garden, these books are absolutely amazing and you do often hear me talking about Sue Whale and I know she's tuned in on Instagram she'll pull up her link pop over and follow her and Trisha might put up our link for the Facebook pages here it's actually the opposite way Sue is on Facebook Trisha's is on now. Instagram and yeah anyway they look after us they will and they put up the link for buying the books because she does a special deal one book is so much two books are so much three books are so much tell her you're a student of case flair school and she always gives as far as i know a free biro and a free bookmark she always gives something anyway and she signs and them signed. sure jamie max what else would you want but um the cut flower book is the one that we use for our students all the time and also the cut foliage book okay and anybody that's obviously interested in house plants or even working in a flower shop you know that way that one will the idea but them two are the well i'm going to say they're the best ones the three of them are brilliant you know the way but them two that definitely you will need are the bible they're, they're the bible you know the way but we don't get like just in case people aren't religious now they might all be right the bible. yeah <laughs> it could be the quran okay. <laughs> right, a definitely brilliant you know encyclopedia encyclopedia of flowers okay <laughs> let's be correct but yeah you have to keep everything politically correct as well because you know yourself you could offend people here dear you have to be very careful so foliage what we're going to use this morning is choice here so choice is a, a bush you tree that you have growing in your garden at the moment and it's in flower now it's not a great lasting one out water like so we're going to be honest but the thing is it's cost us absolutely nothing it's costing us free to make you know a little bit of time and effort so why don't you go out to your garden somebody else's garden get some choice here for yourself and again you can have fun making this up it's going to only last like probably the week but what you can do is what I did with all this foliage beforehand. So when we cut it, we submerged it in water. So literally drowned it, you know the way, down in a bucket of water for a couple of hours. And then I take it out, I drip dry it, I put some towels on the table there, cut it up to the lengths I wanted. I'm just going to undo the wire off the end of this. I'm using um, 20 gauge wires, but listen, a little bit of real wire will do exactly the same job. So you can see here, I just cut it up into little lengths. This one has a little baby one kind of cut on. Removed some of the foliage that was at the end. So bunched them together. So these were big enough, so I put two pieces together. But you can put three pieces together and you can make your little bunches smaller or larger. So either using a 20 gauge wire, which you can buy in a flare shop. So you do like your hairpin bend and you can wrap it around the end and you can cut it off and you can use the rest of the wire to make another bunch which is what I did here at the school or the other thing I'm just going to undo that one the other thing that you do is using the real wire or the mossy wire so find one that at the beginning of it and using a little bit of the real wire again hold it with your thumb and just wrap it around the same spot three four or five times cut it off and there you go there's your bunch you know what i mean all wired together so really casual do you know that way it's not trying to be real neat and tidy this is all for somebody that's working at home keep it nice and simple so i have the choice here all wired up into little bunches to save time and you're told i have about 23 bunches made and i haven't a clue whether i'm going to need more if i need more in fact because i haven't got any more and i might have some leftovers but she listen it's a live class and she'll see what happens so what you're going to do with the moss so here's our fabulous moss from all the way from Manor Hampton. So you're going to bunch it in your hand, or as you often hear me describe it, put it together like a big fat sausage, you know that way? Big fat sausage in your hand and squeeze it. And what you're then going to do is rest it on your frame. Now, just for anybody that hasn't got a frame. I just move that foliage over to the side. We can't okay. see the frame on the table. There we go. So instead of using one of the wire frames, you could make yourself a co-hanger. You know that way you make yourself a co You take a co-hanger out of the border. And using a second piece of wire, you can have it on the inside and you can attach them together with a bit of real wire. And that's just one. You can take the hook off, by the way. But that's one I did before and I did it with, a, with the straw. So again, that was the co-hanger. Still have the hook on. You can cut the hook off if you don't. Or again, you can use that for hanging on your knockers. So anybody that hasn't got a wire frame, have a look for a wire co-hanger. And if you don't have them, because I know myself at home in the house, I prefer the black velvety flocked ones from Pennies. They're the hangers that I like. But if you go into a laundrette or a dry cleaners, they always have loads and loads of wire co-hangers and I'm sure they'd give you one for nothing. So 
whether it's your coat hanger or your wire frame that I have here today, attach on the wire and give it two or three spins there just to attach it. And again, if you don't have this real wire, you could use a roll of twine. So a roll of twine out of the pound shops will do exactly the same job. Keep it rested on the table, so hopefully you can see this here. Bunch up the moss as I've done already, rest it on the frame, and then around and around you go with the real wire. So just unravel that a little bit. So around and around you go with the real wire to catch it on. Now Deirdre was telling me that in her garden, her lilac is just coming into flower. How's everybody else's? Deirdre, will you just unravel the beginning of that one there for me? It's just I'm just at the end of this roll. I'm just going to slow me down on this. So next week, because this moss is so nice, next week what I'm planning to do, I'm just going to cut off this wire and just start on the newer one, okay? If I want to get to near the end, it's awkward. Now, if you have to stop like I've done there, just hold it with your thumb around the same spot two or three times and you can see there I'm flying again, you know that way. It's better to do it with a kind of a newer roll. But um, next week what I'm planning to do is using again the moss, okay? And I may even use this frame because the choicey will be dead. So I'll just pull off the choicey. I'll still be able to use the moss frame again. That's the great thing about it. The moss lasts for ages, okay? And I'm going to use the uh, lilac out of Deirdre's garden. Hopefully the weather is a little bit sunny during the week and can kind of burst into flare a little bit. And again, it's all about showing you how to use stuff that's available in your own garden. Sure, none of us have any money at the moment, so kind of keeping things kind of like a little bit reasonably priced, you know that way? Just pull it back towards pull you a little back bit, yeah. Me. Yeah, no that's it, yeah. So again, you can see there with the moss and bunching it up, resting it onto the frame, which could be your coat hanger, and around you go with the real wire, which could be your ball of twine. So I'm leaving approximately three or four centimetres between each roll with the twine, you know that way to give you an idea. And you can use as much or as little of the moss as you want. Like I'm putting it on fairly decent because we got it for nothing, do you know that way? But like you had to buy it and you had to spare it out a little bit, you could, so there would be no problem at all. Now for anybody that's around the Glendalough area, and now that you're allowed to go outside your 5k and you want to go for a walk, um, look around Glendalough, bring a plastic bag with you, or a little haversack or a little black uh, backpack or whatever. There is absolutely tons and tons of moss. And you know what happens is if you hold your bag open, it just seems to jump because you know that Saint um is the Saint Column Kill, is it? That's in Glendalough. Oh, Some jumps. saint anyway down in Glendalough. And whatever happens to the holy moss, it just jumps off the ground and lands in your plastic bag. It's yeah. not even class robin no. or foraging, you know, because it's holy it is. It's a blessed area and there's absolutely tons of it. Now they have a black sack, it's a bit suspicious looking, you know, that sort of way. So a small plastic bag, you know, I mean, you see what I had there in the plastic bag. Or, as I said, a small little backpack haversack, you know, with your few egg, egg and onion sandwiches with you, and you'll be absolutely flying. Mary, Mary O'Hagan from Moss Mary O'Hagan. Moss Mary O'Hagan. Um, yeah. Says that her lilac is just coming into flare as well, and so it's we'll about to burst. We'll, we'll be, be back down She's up in the mountains. So we'll be back down there for the lilac next week, Mary. <laughs> so here we are. So when you went around the first time, you can then go St. Kevin. St. Kevin. I knew it was a saint. There you go. Who told us that, Mary? No, Marie, Marie Johnson. Do Marie Johnson. Between the Bible and the Quran, so we have an awful religious crowd here we have. So if you go around with your real wire, the second time, it tidies up the frame, do you know the way, and it makes it a little bit stronger, right, for support. Not that we need much support on this frame. But during the week, we had students on to us, and they were asking about making artificial wreaths, and we were covering that in one of our bloom rooms. And I was telling them about years and years and years ago, you know the way, in Flower Street, we used to make artificial, as in silk wreaths, everlasting wreaths, we used to make them on moss frames, and we used to wire all the silk flowers and placed them into it. So I said to the girls, um, giving me age away, I said, do you know what, I'm going to do a little demonstration. Maybe we'll do it here in the bloom, in the we case page. Actually, you yeah. know, and we'll show you them because um, fair play to Charlie, he has sent us a fabulous range of silk flowers. And I'll show you how you can make like an everlasting wreath. You know what I mean? Again, I understand not everybody's into silk flowers, but some silk flowers when they're really, really kind of like nice looking, do you know that way you kind of get away with it. So there you have, there's your frame, there's must, even though that's the front and that's the back. Both sides look really nice to do. And all you do when you get to the end, you cut off your wire and the bit of wire that's left over, you stick it back down into the frame and that's your frame mossed up. And we do the straw exactly the same. So for anybody maybe that hasn't watched this before, where's the magic bin? I do have a bin here today. For anybody that hasn't maybe watched this before and you want, by the way, my name is Jeanette and it's Deirdre behind the camera. And normally we have Sinead as the virtual assistant, but she's off dossing today, she is. So um, if you were, if you watch any of our previous lives, you'll see us using the moss, the, um, the twigs, 
the straw. What else have we used on the basis, Deirdre? Like uh, Q-presses, like we've used lots and lots of different materials. Now, I'm just going to leave that for a second because I just want to get started a little bit on the twig ring. So what I have here is a glue gun. So if you see me bending up and down here, it's just that my flex is a bit short, okay? So these are glue guns of Aldi, but they also have them in a little, and they're 9 99 Now, I'm not saying you'll get them this week, okay? There's certain weeks that you'll see them advertised. And these are the glue sticks, okay? So the glue sticks go into the back of the gun, so there's already one in. This has been plugged in, and what I love about the Aldi glue gun is it's detachable, you know what I mean? So I was able to leave the lead on the floor there, and I can plug it back in again in a few minutes. That's why I'm kind of like leaving it, that I can go back from one to the other. Now, with our... Um, Philanopsis orchids. I'm just going to go in here and I'm just going to cut the stem about that length there, right? I'm actually going to cut off that little piece that's left over. Now, this is how easy this is, okay? So, I was able to kind of like curve it around because obviously the, the twig ring is curved. And do you see how easy this is going to be? So, this is what I call a gobshite flower arrangement. And for all them ones that don't want to use floral foam, sure, here we go, we're going foam free. So you get your glue gun, and I'm pulling the little uh, trigger, I suppose. The second glue is not coming out here, it is. Pulling the little trigger, and I'm putting the glue onto it. Now, the glue gun will be boiling hot. That's why I'm putting it down on the table, okay? So you put your glue on, and you leave it for a couple of seconds, okay? And you go onto the twig ring, and you put a bit of glue there as well. But again, you leave it for a couple of seconds, okay? For it to kind of go tacky. But just while I'm leaving that there, for anybody that hasn't got a glue gun, you can buy a tube of glue. So this is floral glue. And like we have a for sale here. You can see there's one I've, I've been using. Do you know the way? I won't sell you that one. And again, it's the same idea. But when you, when you squeeze it out, is let it go kind of tacky then for a couple of minutes. And then you come along, and then all we're going to do is we're going to press that down, you know what I mean? So I'm putting the glue stem, hopefully they can see that, can they? Yeah. So pressing the glue stem just down onto it, tapping it with my fingers so that I don't burn. If I do say, holy Mary, mother of God, that means I've just burned my fingers. So just kind of a little bit, tap, 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 and just leave it for a couple of seconds, and that's how easy that is. Now, I'm not finished it, by the way. I'm just kind of doing it in stages. But one end of the Philanopsis orchid, you see how this lovely little bud? So I want kind of a similar on the opposite side. Now, if you really want to, you could cover the, ha the whole thing in. But these twig rings are so nice. I don't want to cover it in completely. So I'm just cutting the top off this one. Now remember, I still have, you throw nothing out. Do you know that way? I still have that left from the other stem. So again, where I cut it, I'm just going to cut that little bit off because you don't need that part, okay? And again, I'm going to give this one, just see what direction I'm going, I'm going to give this one a little bit of a curve without pulling the heads off. It's me buttons gaping there. Has everybody else put on a couple of pounds with the feckin' COVID? You know that way, I tell you, the sooner we get back walking and gyms open and the whole lot and get back to normal. So can you see what I'm doing there, the way I'm going to bring that second one in? So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to turn this one upside down and I'm going to use a little bit of glue. And again, if you were doing this too slow, you might find that your glue gun is after cooling down and you might have to go back and plug it back in then for a couple of seconds. I'm putting a little bit of glue on the twig ring as well and I'm leaving it for a second just to go a little bit tacky. Okay, so we have a few questions, but uh, Trisha says she has no fingers left in the glue gun. Yeah. Our we, fingerprints. Do you know, if you ever, CI, why are they CIF or, not CIF, that's the CSI. Thing. CSI. You'll have no fingerprints, so you can go out and you can rob banks, you can rob everything you want, <laughs> and no, you can't leave any fingerprints behind. I have no fingerprints, because literally from the glue gun, pull them all off, so you'd be grand. We can be partners in crime. We can well <laughs> rob them together, up in St. Kevin's place. <laughs> um, Victoria just... Um, said she says hello my beautiful ladies i'm so happy after four modules i still have the opportunity to see you all at um ah, in the mornings it. the best school ever i highly recommend to anybody you will never regret ah oh, brilliant listen thanks victoria that is just beautiful beautiful to hear and it is like it's really emotional when we come to the end of a program do you know the way and you're after being with these students every day for four weeks and that was on module one and module two and module three and module four. So we literally know everything about them. Like one of our students at the moment is 36 weeks pregnant and she started a four week program on Wednesday. So our odds are on at the moment. We have to run a competition. Yeah. Are we going to have an extra student again the end of the, in the bloom program? Room. 
So it'll be our first bloom, 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 boom, baby. <laughs> bloom, room, baby. <laughs> bloom, room, baby. A baby boom or whatever. So we're all excited in the bloom room to see what's going to happen. So again, just to show you there how I just added in that little second one. Okay, one. somebody's just asking where do you get the sil the purple ring, evergreen silk plants, and I see Charlie silk has there. put up the link. Thanks, Charlie. You're keep look up. You watch the questions for your stuff. Mm -hmm. Sue Wales says if you burn your fingers, don't peel it off. Stick your finger under the tap. Yeah, and don't it. put it in your mouth. And don't. Put in your mouth yeah i did that one day burnt me on finger put it in to, to wet it with my tongue and she burnt me lip it was like i had a big cold sore on the side of my lip for ages you know that way so yeah she's dead right down put your hand down into a bucket of water doesn't matter if it's dirty water the, the glue will then just kind of like set and then it just lifts off your hand real easy but if you pull her off you pull off all the skin as well and lavender oil a little bottle of lavender oil and that's also great for the burns so what i've just done then is i've just cut a couple of like little individual flowers and I've left a little bit of a stem on them and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue along the backs of them, right? And that's just to kind of give me a little bit of texture in and out through the couple of heads that I have, right? I'll show you kind of what I mean. I'd love another little flare head. Can you see in here? So if I just put putting a little bit of glue on them, let them go tacky. And again, you're just coming along and you're kind of sticking it in in between the twig, anywhere that it kind of works. I'm going to stick another one up here. I just kind of feel it kind of needs it. And I'm going to stick another one in here. And literally, you're, you're making it up as you go along. You know when I'd be talking to the students, and I'd say, I'm creating it, I'm designing it. And I'd say, fucking bullshit. I'm making it up as I go along. And that's really what this is all about. Excuse now, the French, Frank. Oh, that was a little bit of French thrown in there. Sorry, I forgot we had a religious friend. Rings and here. rose. Yeah, I've burned my lip too. The pain. It's awful, isn't it? <laughs> So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this back in for a second and I'm going to move back to the fresh one, okay? And then I'll come back to that one. As I said, it's just me flex isn't long enough here. And you think it's a florist, but just for where we're positioned for the demonstrations, we haven't. So this is just what it looks we're like. We're in the so process far. of in the process. We're having a big, big move and a big organization here at the school. And we will keep you posted on the Instagram pages and do a video as we go as we go along. And if Grace Cummins is watching, I mean, is she watching today? Not I sure. haven't seen her. Well, I had a big, big surprise off the postman this morning. Deirdre posted it over on the Instagram page. We got a fabulous picture frame. I'm still none the wiser. Did she make it herself or did she have it made for us? But all her names are on it. So Jeanette, Deirdre, Sinead, family, Kay's Blair School, love. Oh my God, I will show it to you as well. You'll see it actually over on the Instagram page. And um, it's just gorgeous it is. What are you laughing at? They're laughing at your French. <laughs> right, so now we're ready. We're back to the fresh one. I'm not finished that one. I'll come back to it, okay? So using our real wire, I'm attaching it with my thumb and around you go in two or three circles in the one spot and that's your real wire attached again and you're ready to go. And now okay. I'm going to bring over my choice here. Um, Tina Doyle says same here she's just finishing her last module really enjoyed case school it doesn't feel like an online course it feels like the girls are in the room with you um, and she and would highly bad sometimes <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to highly recommend it. And Grace is here. Oh, big, big hello, Grace. And huge thanks for that, that surprise this morning. Because when the postman come and he says, this is fragile, real careful. And I was delighted that I was still in the house when he arrived. And Deirdre was there. We were having our morning cuppa. So we were absolutely thrilled we were. We were thrilled and excited. Thrilled and excited. As you just say. And yes, you will find that with our online courses. They are completely different to any other online course, not just Flower Street, any other online course that's out there. Because you will feel, I'm in the room with you, you know, that way. Or I, as some of the students said, when they're doing their courses at night time, Jeanette, you're in the bed with me. We've been in many of Many of beds, bed hoppers. Bed, when bed hoppers we are here. And, um, but, and then the great thing is every morning they have a live class, like we have a live Q&A session at half nine every morning with the students. And then there's a Q&A box posted. So throughout the day, they have full access to us from half nine till half three in what we call our balloon. So it's not like some people think that, oh, it's just a Facebook group that you're no, learning it's not in. Just a Facebook group. The learning I'm doesn't actually. Yeah. This here. So what I'm just doing, I'm to get out there, is I'm just attaching, okay, I'm, I'm a bit knotted in here, so I'm going to leave it. So just attaching our little bunch of foliage on a slant, you know, that way, rather than placing it on dead straight, which you can, you know what I mean, but if you want to make it a little bit bigger, place it on an angle that is kind of sticking out, you see, kind of like past it. And then with the real wire then, is you wrap it around the end of the stem where you wired it. Now, for anybody that has a little bit of experience, you could attach that without wiring the bunches in the first place. So you could just grab up a few bunches of choice here together and you could just add them in. Angela Car Clark, I'm late watching. She's bottle feeding a lamb. Oh, God. Ah, oh, send a photograph. <laughs> <laughs> we don't see 
any lambs here in Dublin. So again, only on, only on the plate. Only on the plate. Dear, that's not nice. That's not nice. No. There could be vegetarians watching now, and you you saying that you eat the baby lamb with a little bit of mint sauce yeah. and just be gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see the way we're just adding on our bunches so basically you come along and add in your next bunch you see like each one one behind the other and ever so often you can always add a bunch in that way just to make it a little bit bushier a little bit fuller and it also helps to cover in your mechanics and you're using the real wire then to just basically attach it on and as I said earlier on a ball of twine will do exactly the same job. Deirdre just has a question um, I'm getting married on Friday the 14th and I've left it too late to get a flare crown made do you make them or sell them or will I tempt my own? Well, we don't make them or sell them here at the school. Any flare shop there, and there's probably lots of flare shops watching. There will be a lot of our own past students who would be, um, or have businesses and that. I know Grace Cummins, she's the queen of the flare crowns. Yeah. 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 Um, Maybe Grace there, pop up your link to your page there. She's some amazing photographs of herself on push bikes. Her husband is a fireman. And his photographs holding her up in the air and she has her flare crown on her. Like and Grace, so um, Deirdre McConnell, McDonald is over on Instagram. So I know, Grace, you're watching on Facebook at the moment. Um, Deirdre is over on Instagram. Um, and Deirdre, if you want to drop us an email, I can pass you on to Grace. That and way, if we don't said, get yeah, hook you up. Anybody yeah. that's watching there, that's what area did she say? What area she, she said? She didn't that? say, actually, no. Again, if anybody's watching from an area, just kind of comments below there. And um, again, you know what I mean? Get in touch with each other. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Is making contacts and collaborating with Collaboration each other. and not We're competition. We're all the same here at the school. No competition. Do you know the way? There's too much jealousy and begrudgery and, oh, what would you call it? Just being fucking yeah. mean. Do you know that way? There's too much of that kind of going on. There's absolutely no... Oh, she's in Dublin 8. All right, that's where I am, John. That's yeah. class. <laughs> You're probably only around the corner. Do you want to wear a choice you meet? <laughs> <laughs> very, very best of luck to you. What's the numbers for the weddings? Is it still at the 6 to 25? Or are you allowed the 50 people in the church and send 44 of them home starving? Yeah. <laughs> With a potato sandwich. A takeaway. <laughs> a takeaway, cup of coffee or whatever. Should you could always pop into the circular there, into Daddy's, and you could pick up a sandwich. Or the cupcake bloke in Rialto. I'm sure he'd set up a little stall there for a little cupcake <laughs> and a cup of coffee or whatever. Ever. So again, you can see the way I'm just working around the um, moss ring, adding on our bunches of choice here. Now, with the choice here, there's kind of like a smell of, I suppose, like a basil herb. That's probably, which may not be everybody's kind of favourite herb. The flower kind of has a kind of a sweety sort of smell. And the foliage, if you kind of crush the foliage leaves, it's kind of more of, it would remind me of basil, Lanny, but kind of like a herb. Um, it's not a great lasting out of water. It lasts probably seven to... 10 days, 7 to 12 days in water, change the water regular. You could use it like in mixed bunches, mixed bouquets again for anybody that's watching. Uh, wouldn't use it for bridal work because it's not great laster out of water. Somebody's asking, are they artificial? No, these are all fresh. This is actually all from Deirdre's Garden. Deirdre done a bit of robin this morning, she did. So all the choice here is from Deirdre's Garden. And like anybody that's watching, it's in flower in your garden as well or your neighbour's garden. So that's why we said that we'd use it to show you something that you're able to get. And the moss, okay, we got the moss from Mary that's in Leitrim, but you could use straw. You know, that way one of the weeks we showed you about using the straw bases. And um, so really I'm kind of saying, this is not costing me anything to make because it is stuff that's foraged for free. Um, taking a bit of time and effort. And remember, well, first of all, I'm talking, so I'm probably be a little bit slower than normal. But I did have all the bunches made up in advance. I'd done that before I came on camera. So that kind of like saved me a little bit of time. So all I'm doing is I'm placing our bunches on, on a slant and using the real wire, or if you prefer to use a roll of twine, you're just attaching it on. This could be done in artificial. And I will go back to the artificial one. And um, like Charlie was so kind, he sent out like a lot of samples to me. So maybe each week when I'm doing something fresh, because I mostly do fresh, I do. When I'm doing something fresh, I can always add in something maybe artificial kind of in between. And if you have any questions about the artificial, pop over to Charlie on Evergreen Silk Plants to ask him. There's no point in asking us because he'll have all the details there. Some of the prices I would know because I've seen it up on the website or I asked him in advance. But um, again, he sells retail and also um, wholesale. wholesale. So if there's anybody in a flower shop and they want to deal with them, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Julie said, what's the name of the flowers? Choicea. So um, maybe Sue Way, you'll do the spelling because it's spelled a funny way it is. Yeah. Okay? So I actually can't spell it. Well, I probably can, but I'd have to look it up. <laughs> <laughs> 
okay? Um, it's not spelled how you would think it's spelled, okay? So if somebody there is anyway good at spelling, they might try and spell the choice here for me. So you think now I measured to the last, I said 23 bunches <laughs> and it's 23 bunches, you know what I mean? And when I come to the last bunches, just see the way I kind of wiggle the word, you know what I mean? And that way then I don't flatten it, you know what I mean? That I'm able to attach it in and kind of like cover some of the mechanics. So I'm kind of... I call it wiggling and wangling, you know, you just wiggle and wangle in between your bits of foliage and bits of flowers or whatever to catch the last little bunch on and then just at the back, that's what it looks like at the back, at the back then cut off your wire and the bit of wire that's left over, if you stick it back into the moss, that'll secure it and there is your choice you eat. And Marion has spelt it, she says it's C-H-O-Y-S-I-A. Right. So yeah, C-H-O-Y-S-I-A is how it's spelt. Uh, and Deirdre is just the two of them getting married on their own. Ah, lovely. Uh, well, it's so. sad and nice, sad and you know that. Okay. Way. She listen, she next week post photographs. Sue Whale yeah. says, Choicea, also known as the Mexican orange blossom. There we go. I didn't Thanks know for that, that Sue. Thanks yeah. a for that, Sue. And again, I'm sure it's all in her book, you know, that way. <laughs> so if, you, if I had read the book before I started, should have been able to tell you that. So again, when you go and you look up the whatever the foliage is or whatever the flower is, like she's all the tips and the hints and you know the native information. She's saying it. it smells lovely. Yes, exactly. Some people kind of find because it's a herby sort of a smell. You know the way. Now maybe it's not basil. I think it smells like basil. Now what I like is if I'm using this in flower arranging. Now again, and um, this wouldn't be very environmentally friendly. This is called leaf shine. Now my foliage looks shiny, but that's because it's wet. Okay. But like when yours is a little bit drier, if you spray the leaf shine on it, it really brings up the shine on the foliage. People ask me, does it harm the flare? Oh, ha, 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 I'm nearly dying. I'm only messing. <laughs> <laughs> the smell of that's not great, by the way. It's definitely not great. And you should probably do that outdoors or you should use a mask. Choice it is in our book. It is in our book. Brilliant. <laughs> that's great. I didn't I should have checked that beforehand. Now again, you could decorate that with artificial flowers. I just think it's nice. I think it's it gorgeous, yeah. And doesn't yeah. even need a bow. And definitely, anything. like, not end of lockdown, but end, it's ne end of nearly the end of lockdown. Nearly the end. Nearly Decorate the end your of door. Lockdown. We can now have people come to our into our gardens, can't yeah. we? Yeah. From and next that'd be week. lovely, though. At least when they're sitting in the garden and they're looking at your hall door saying, I wish I could win there in the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It would be nice. So you could put a ribbon on that, you know what I mean? I just think it's nice it is, as it is. Yeah. And yeah, I know it's not going to last. Like, because we're going to get loads of people saying, that's not going to last. We know it's not going to last. But you listen, it costs us nothing. And if we got a week out of it, you know that way, the hung on your door till next Friday. So next Friday, we're going to show you something else. And the moss frame will last. You know what I mean? We'll be able to use that again. So we're going back to our silk wreath, our silk um, door hanger. I'm just undoing the door, um, the glue gun again here. And this is where I have um, our little bunches of fillers, as Charlie calls them. Do you know the way? And again, I'm not sure what these are supposed to be. They're probably not in um, Sue Wales' book. So I'm just cutting up a couple of sprigs. Somebody said, are they lavender? I don't think they're lavender, no. We did I go did off Facebook for a minute. Um, it's just if somebody rings the phone, it knocks off Facebook. But we should be back. Oh, okay. So we are back. We're back Love that there. inspiration for a door reach to welcome visitors. It is, really, yeah. yeah you know, you know? Say, listen, you can't like, come I know in. we're you still... You might be able to come in next week, but you can't come in this week. This is it. And, like, restrictions are still very much in place. We still all have to be, obviously, very careful. Especially oh, but... the ones up in Donegal. Yeah. The ones up in Donegal. Because I'm going to bold. Donegal on my holidays. <laughs> you are being very bold, you sir. <laughs> my husband said, that's all them young ones up in Donegal going over the border. <laughs> <laughs> and the ones from the border coming back over to Donegal. If you hear them giving out, you know that way. So, listen, will you stay in? for another little while that Deirdre can go on her holidays up to Donegal. So um, I'm just cutting this up into little sprigs and I'm putting a little bit of glue on the end of it and the secret with the glue gun is don't try and glue it straight away, okay? Let it kind of go tacky. It's like with all kind of glues. The best thing to do is put it on, let it go a little bit tacky and put newspaper on your table because this is of course to get off the table afterwards. And then what I'm going to do is here and there, I'm just going to lift up the Philanopsis petal. I'm going to slide in whatever that little flare is. And you see the little texture that I get, you know what I mean? So just lifting up the flares, kind of sliding them in. Somebody, so um, I think it was Julie said, did you add foliage in with the choice here? No, that was the... The foliage. No, that is the foliage. That is the choice of your foliage with the flower because it's in bloom at the moment. So no, there's absolutely nothing else. You know that way? That was literally what it looked like. So, any other questions? Um, yeah, somebody was asking about funding for Module 1, Jeanette. Okay, the funding for Module 1 is through a skill nets group down in County Waterford. Timmy or Tom is Tommy. his name, isn't it? Yeah. Tommy is his name. 
and is given 25% funding off the module one that's starting on the 2nd of June. The best thing to do is just drop me an email and I can send you the link. So the criteria to get the funding is that you're living in the Republic of Ireland. Unfortunately, it doesn't cover Northern Ireland. But again, if there is anybody from Northern Ireland or from the UK, check up Perennial, okay? Did I mention that already? No, no, no that was with a different group. Yeah, I think that was so a different So you can check up with Perennial, which is a kind of a funding group for horticulture and floristry. And again, they will fund because we're on and one of their They have a certain criteria. So again, you can contact them. Yeah. And if you meet their criteria, well, then they'll fu help fund you. Uh, Debbie is watching in from Arizona. And she says, you make arrangements look so beautiful. She loves watching you. Ah, thanks Could you show you, us Debbie. how to do a bow from ribbon? Sarah wants to know. Yeah, what kind of ribbon? Normal ribbon or organza ribbon? What, um, what ribbon and the now? flare studio by the Lee. Is there any funding for the module three? No. No, the module three, that's on the 9th of June. And that is the last module three for this year we've no module three next term because there just isn't enough there isn't enough weeks since we've made our programs four weeks and it's module one module two module three module four there's not enough months that's really what the problem is so there's no module three next term there will be in 2022 so if anybody wants to get prepared for wedding work you need to make sure that you attend the module three that's starting on the 9th of june and unfortunately we don't have any um funding for that course at, and we're not going to get it they, they're out of their money that's what actually is wrong is they're out of their money normal ribbon for tight bouquets please okay so maybe you just throw me over a roll of normal okay, ribbon is it the paper ribbon? I presume yeah. she means. So, is it the what we call the I call it the Barbie bow? I know now I'm actually just out of the glue gun here, the glue stick. So, all you do is you get your glue stick and you feed it into the back of the gun and it continues then to push. So, that actually was good that that happened and it just kind of like feeds the glue sticks through. Close the scissors there. There we go. When you're um. When you're buying your glue gun, you can get what's called a low melt glue gun or a hot melt glue gun. Now, normally in the wholesalers, you know that way, or even in a supplier, he probably say to you, oh, get the low melt glue gun because it's safer. But I'm going to tell you the opposite. I'm going to say get the hot melt glue gun. Yes, you burn the fingers off yourself, but really it's a much, much better glue gun it is. And um, the stuff is a lot more secure on it, you know the way. So again, just kind of like, let this go a little bit tacky just to kind of like let you see it so far, how it's working out. Really, really simple. And all I've used is, as I said, two stems of the Philanopsis. Now, the couple of little heads kind of like left over. And don't throw out them leaves, because again, if you wanted foliage in this, I don't, you know what I mean? If you wanted foliage, but in another dory, I, I put them back into my bitty box, as I call it, and I use them up again. And even any of these little sprigs, they were all only 50 cents a stem, do you know, that sort of way. But you see the way I was able to cut it up, and I got a couple of little sprigs out of it. So there's our little, um, a few cute. little, I call them like cobwebs or spiders. That's just the glue strings, you know, that way. And just let that settle, and you can peel all them off. There's one or two there. You probably can't see them on the camera, can they? No, I don't anyway, think so, no. And again, you can decide what way you want to hang it. I like it over to the side anyway. So that's all that took was two stems of the Philanopsis orchids, three or four stems of the, um, we haven't worked out what it is, is it forget me not. It looks a little bit like September flower. You know, yeah, aster, actually you know aster, I mean? that's I'd exactly what it does. Is. Maybe Charlie can correct me. You know that way, sometimes we're artificial, you're not too sure. And again, the twig ring, which was 7.25. So this has worked out, I don't know, 11 euros, you know that way. Really, really cheap. Something easy that you can make yourself. You don't need the glue gun. The glue gun was Aldi or Little 9.99. You could use a tube of glue. And probably, because I'm not using any floral foam, it wouldn't have to be floral glue. No. You would get away with a normal glue. Uh, somebody was saying that this, all them small little pieces are great for flower crowns or wristbands and stuff like that. I did. I'm looking for the roll of ribbon. Here, here. I cut it in for you oh, there. Right. I like to measure it myself. Okay, well, I, I'm not wrong. Yeah, I can't. That there, no? Okay, right. So we'll go this way, we'll see. We'll measure it and then. It... Don't my be giving out. Be, my arms could be a different length to yours. So normally I just say you need four arm lengths of ribbon. And I normally like to work off the roll, but she dearly went and she's cut up for me already. So we'll see how my arms compare to her arms. So there's one arm length, two arm length, three arm length, four arm length. Give <laughs> that a bigger chest than me. <laughs> <laughs> so, and you can go a little bit extra if you want to. 
So four arm lengths of ribbon to make your bow and you need an extra piece then for your tails. And that can be any length. Like if you want to use that piece there, you could use it as well. So the next thing then you do is you get the ribbon and you make a circle. And when I would have done this, we always talked in inches and we used to say it was an eight inch circle. And when I trained, there was video boxes. So some of you probably don't even remember. And we used to say if you wrapped it around lengthways around a video cassette, you know that way, that was your eight inches. Or if you went across an A4 page, which is actually eight and a quarter inches, you know the way, that was the measurement. But you know, I just know what eight inches is. So you just wind it up, having a clue what that is in centimetres. So somebody will have to convert So some of the young ones to know. One of the young ones out there, what is eight inches converted into centimetres? So you wind it all up. My floor is filthy, so there's a bit of moss stuck to it as well, until it's all gone. Now when you come to the end of the ribbon, don't be fussy about this. You kind of find when people are training, they'll be really fussy about this. And you know what, when you're in a shop, you're, like, you're just randomly cutting it and you don't have time for shite as I call it, you know what I mean? But if you have a choice, place that up near the top. You, what you find what will happen is, is if that end piece is in the middle we just can't just loosen that up because we can't see it there yeah there so you go yeah if that piece is in the center you lose a loop but if it's past the center or even up near the top anywhere else it will work out perfect and i you. said it's 20 centimeters thanks a million fair play to you we have a great group of secretaries here so then what you do is with your 18 circle 20 centimeters you fold it over in half and you crease it on the fold okay and the very first time you do this you'll be inclined to crease the loopy part but that's going to be the loops of the bow so avoid creasing down there on the folded side using a sharp scissors and get into the habit of always cutting away from yourself you cut out one triangle on one side okay and then turn it kind of upside down if you want to call it that you're then going to cut the other triangle on the opposite side now to my students i always say to them think of a pair of knickers okay and i did say knickers you know and high leg cut sexy knickers okay so you know the way we used to often say to the students a barbie doll because if you did have a barbie doll and even the men that are watching here they might have had they might play with their sister's barbie doll that's okay? it Barbie's knickers start up around her neck and when I say there's nothing left in the middle, she'd get pneumonia, she would. So think of that when you're cutting these triangles. So her knickers start up around her neck, you cut down and you leave her hardly at in the middle, okay? It's a real Anne Summers version. If I turn it around that way, can you see what I'm trying to make, okay? Now, of course, there's always a fellow watching and he doesn't know what a Barbie doll looks like. So this is where he has a little dicky bow. And get the middle of your dicky bow as thin as possible, okay? And what you're then going to do is pinch it in the middle, okay? So whether you want to call it the middle of your knickers or the middle of your Barbie bow or the middle of your dicky bow, that's where you're holding it in the middle. Now we're going to add our strings to the back. And again, let's say the girl that's watching if she wanted to decorate maybe bows outside her house or a church, because this ribbon is quite cheap it is, you know the way, you could decide that you want long strings, you see, coming out of your bow, you could make these in whites or ivories, or again, if it was going on a bunch of flowers, you might prefer a shorter string, so we go for the long one we will. So you get your long length ribbon, and you can spend ages getting the two of them the same length, and you add them in lengthways, you see, at the back of the dicky bow or the back of the bow. And what I like to do then, again, there's no way that's exactly halfway. I'm really casual about everything. I'm not fussy. Because if you're a fussy florist, you'll never be a rich florist. Not that I'm a rich florist. But you won't make money when you're being fussy, okay? So be real casual, be real relaxed about it. Using, and I've no nails, I'm waiting on the nail places to open along with the hairdressers. So with the tops of my blunty fingers, I'm now just tearing off the thin strips. You see like that? And this ribbon tears real easy. So that's why when that girl asked about the bow, I was saying was it a fabric bow or a paper bow because we have to make different bows of them. This little thin piece of ribbon is going to go sideways. You see the way across the pair of knickers or across your dicky bow, whatever way you want to do it. And this is now the hard part of the bow, believe it or not, because at the back there, see them two skinny strings there, I want them tied into a double knot. And this is where if you're working at home, I could say, Deirdre, will you tie the knot? But your dear is behind the camera, so you have to learn how to do it on your own. So normally what I do is I fold it over in half and I tuck it against a spare tire. And should we all have a spare tire after COVID? And to see the way I'm able to tie the knot there, you're like using the spare tire, I can tie the knot and pull the knot now as tight as you possibly can and then you can tie a double knot, a second knot on top, okay? And that's your bow ready, but you normally don't open the bow till you need it. So when you need the bow, you're ready to open it because this ribbon crease is real easy. 
So place both hands, look at the dirt in my hands, okay? But it's clean dirt, okay? And I have sterilized my hands before I started. And I don't mind putting my fingers in my mouth, okay? Because I know it's it's only the moss dirt and moss is, moss is actually sterilized to this. Yeah. So you're putting your four fingers inside there and that hand is actually clean enough and four fingers inside there. So there you can see both hands, you see, are inside the loop. And then you're going to lick one of them discreetly so that nobody sees you licking your finger, okay? <laughs> like if you had a vase of water beside you, you could dip your hand in. So that was done. It was really discreet. Nobody's seen me licking my fingers. Serenity Candle says that they've got a spare tractor tire. <laughs> going to do i tell you i have one of them myself i have as i said the, the cardigan is gaping today it is inside loop and as you pull it out you twist it to your chest inside loop as you pull it out you twist it in the opposite direction inside loop you twist it to yourself inside loop twist it to you inside loop twist it to me inside loop twist it away i'm starting to have to get another discreet lick there the licking kind of helps that you can grip the ribbon twist it away from yourself twist it to yourself twist it away from yourself and that's how you make your bow roll roundy you turn it upside down and you do exactly the same thing now remember when i was folding over the ribbon at the very beginning and the straight piece there it is and there's another one in there somewhere you treat that exactly like a loop so you pull it out you twist it to me pull it out twist it to you pull it out twist it to me it's really important that you do that twist method do you know that way backwards and forwards and as i pull it I twist it. You see the way my hands kind of give a little bit of a twist. And as I pull it away from myself, I twist it. Beth and over on YouTube said banker's putty for your hands. For, for cleaning? For, no, for making them sticky grip. Oh, right. Obviously, Brilliant. for counting the money. Have you got a spare one? Stick it in the post. <laughs> Do you work in the bank? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any money to count. I don't have any money to count either. <laughs> and that's how you make your bow. You'll have your straight pieces, which were the beginning and the end of the ribbon. And if you fold them over, and if you do a 45 degree cut into it, you get that little V, and there's probably one there somewhere which you can't see it. The two skinny ones then can tie onto a bunch of flowers, or a pew end, or a lamppost, <laughs> a bus stop, whatever you want it. The, I often say when you go to the airport, tie one of them on the aerial of your car. You know when you come in at four o'clock in the morning and you're saying, where did we park the What's car? What's an airport? I don't know what an airport is, but I tell you, the sooner I get to a feckin' airport, the better. So you can tie a bow on the area of your car, and when you come in at four o'clock in the morning and you have a black car, every car in the airport is black, you know that way? And at least you can see this stupid green bow up on an area, and you know that that's your car. So these are our two strings that I added on, so you can decide what length you want them. And again, you can fold them over on that fold them in half and do that 45 degree kind of cut into it and it gives like the dove feather look or kind of like a V to see up into it and again another thing that you can do to the bow is you can cut them really thin so using your no nails okay run your fingers down to it and you see that you get like lots of little skinny tails and you can make them as thick or as thin as you want and another thing that you can do is you can use your scissors now I open out the scissors but you can do this with a sharp knife but be real careful and again, if you stretch the ribbon, and you see the way you get the little ringlets or the little curls. And the, the, the harder you pull it, you give it like a perm. And you can go over it a second time. Remember what perms were when we used to have hairdressers? That would be a perm. Do you see the way it's a real, it's sticking to me hand, the static of it. Do you know that way? So that's a perm, where if you just pull it like the ones or just do it that bit softer, you get kind of more what we call a body wave, you know, just a loose curl. So you can kind of control how much of a curl that you want to give them strings if you want a real tight one there. There we go. And there's one that's a little bit looser. So the harder you pull it, the harder you stretch it. And you can do it with the scissors closed. Like leave the scissors closed. And again, you can stretch it. But you'll probably only get this ribbon is quite curly, actually. It's curling up like mad. Any um, yeah, Mairead wants to know. Um, she's just wondering, will we continue with our courses online when we get back to normal after COVID? Absolutely. Because you know what we have found? And somebody rang me this morning was asking that same question. First of all, um, it has opened its gas. We always thought that, sure, we were that great your people travel to us anyway. And we used to say, sure, listen, if people want to do a course at Case Flower School, should they travel to us? And you know, when we went online, we got a kick in the arse and we realised that there was a lot of people doing. Now, we had people travel from Turkey, Malaysia, the UK, um, Malta, like we students yeah. travel from all over the world to attend school here. You know, that Canada, we were, we're classroom based, girl, yeah. okay? And Canada. But when we went online, 
So clear we have lots of students from Australia, America, Canada, New Zealand, um, all these other countries, the UK especially, we have loads. And these would have been students who wouldn't have been able to travel. But even here within Ireland, you know, whether it was Donegal, Loud, Cork, Kerry, whatever, students from all over Ireland suddenly said, only we went online, they never would have been able to travel to us. The other thing that we have found is, because each module now is extended, okay, we were able to add a lot more. So normally with the syllabus, there's a certain thing you have to cover for level one. Level Actually, two. and that was a question as well. Um, somebody asked, are our courses the same as City and Guilds? She, I, I forgot, no, just remember that. No, we go way, 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 way above City and Guilds. Way, way above it. Now, we're not into the four-page essay, okay? We cover theory. There will be notes, but there's no sitting there writing 4,000 words on how to condition a flare because you learn how to condition it and when you get a job in a flower shop you will never ever ever be asked to write a four thousand pound four thousand pound a four thousand word essay or a um, story on conditioning a certain flower or making a wedding bouquet you can either make it or you can't make it so we're probably more into the practical like we do all the large installations you know what i mean that's all part of our module four go onto the website and have yeah a look compare at the, the syllabus. syllabus i think that's compare gonna... it you know the way but what we found then when we went online we covered so much more in the theory classes as well that again we never would have had time to and again it's not part of the syllabus even of city and gales or mbq or in flora this was never part of the syllabus as in all your overheads for your shop and what you need to buy your shop and what's going to cost you to run a business and uh, you know i mean we social media marketing that. social media marketing branding you name it, we cover it, you know what I mean? And we were able to do that when we did it as an online programme. But also the standard. If you've been watching the photographs, because we've just had a module three finish recently, and look at the standard. Like, that's all students' work that's been posted on our, on our social media pages. Like, the standard of bridal bouquets, flower crowns, wands, buttonholes, corsages, foam free bouquets, cascading bouquets, all word teardrop bouquets, posy bouquets, hand tied bouquets. They're all our module three students. And that was all covered. Pomanders, what else? Yeah. Flowers. And they were all their first sort of it's first yeah. time to do wedding work. First time to do their wedding work. And the standard was amazing. We actually, Sinead done a gorgeous video last night, Wish Upon a Star. Yeah. So we actually post that video later on in the day. And if you get a chance, just look through it because it's just amazing. And what they all did was they got either themselves, sisters, brothers, husbands, kids, nieces and nephews to a model for them. So the amount of them that got people into wedding dresses, they were betting to the wedding, no, they weren't betting to the wedding dresses. But you know what I'm saying? They're Deb's dresses, communion dresses, flower girls' dresses. And they all got dressed up and became models for the students. You know that way? It was all their own family. They'd done it kind of among themselves. But the photographs were just amazing, it was. So yes, we will stay online. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. We I mean, actually think we're giving a better service we're online. We're giving a better service. We didn't put the prices up. We have no. to think about that. But they're also covering an awful lot more. And definitely comparing to City Guilds, it's a completely different course. You can't compare like with like. If you've done level one with City and Guilds, we probably would still say do level one with us because we cover a lot more on our level one than you would have covered with City and Guilds. And again, there's loads of comments coming in from students who have completed the courses. Uh, Sue Whale says the standard of work is really high. She's always impressed when she sees the work online. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, do you know, look, go look at it, listen to the testimonials. And I know I have a few. I think Louise in Wales, didn't she do City and Guilds? Is, is to get yeah. some students. Like we've had like a lot of students who did City and Guilds and even from the north of Ireland. Yeah. Anyway, and then, you know what I mean? Or maybe come in. No, there's nothing wrong with City and Guilds. Nothing like, wrong with City and Guilds. No, absolutely nothing. Well, our course is better. <laughs> Just be Let's be diplomatic, you know. okay? Let's be very diplomatic about it. Um, somebody's asked about your earrings, Jeanette. Where did you get them? Biddy and Betty. <laughs> Instagram they are. Um, they're a little bit heavy, I have to say, but they are nice, aren't they? You know, that way. But I normally take them out after the live class. I couldn't wear them all day. Eileen said she has joined, signed up for Module 1, but she's not able to make the Bloom Room on Tuesdays and Wednesdays because she's work. Would no, that affect her training? No, because the Bloom Room, um, the Bloom Room is basically available to you basically all day. I'm in it from half nine to half three, and half nine every morning is when we have the live Q and A session. But you can watch it on the replay. So when you come home from work on Tuesdays, you can watch it at twelve o'clock at night, and you can post all your questions in the Q and A box, 
and they, they won't be answered at 12 o'clock at night but they'll be answered the next morning so that's no hassle at all there's lots of students that would be like and that and people outside like that Canada Australia yeah, you know they're working the with Canadians, different times they're asleep when I'm doing the live class you know that way so again they watch at a later time and odd time I could be on I never promised to be on in the evening time but in odd time I am you know that way and again I'll answer any of the students and um, Bernie says even the standalone courses are brilliant yeah like again we have a lot of like standalone courses where you don't have the bloom room we don't provide the materials you know that way they're kind of like as a little extra and Deirdre from Elder Flowers or is it Deirdre or Paula from Elder Flowers no Deirdre's Elder Flowers uh, Elder, Elder Woods, Woods. Wedson says and the crack is unreal loads of crack absolutely you'd be sick of me you will you'd be sick of me and I'm sure you always have another joke to tell you well, um, we better finish up soon Deirdre absolutely yeah just and um, we did say which we never got around to that we were going to give away so well, how the, are we going to work so what out? I'm going to do is and again we'll connect announce the winner on monday is anyone who shares this post or has shared because we can see who has shared it anyone who shared the post on either instagram or facebook will we will pick two winners okay. from there for a door wreath course because see we're doing door wreaths yeah, here today absolutely. and on youtube there's 21 of you is watching so jeanette give me a number between one and 21 you know it's going to be two i always pick number two, two. <laughs> okay so the second person um that's watching and I'll have the list on YouTube, you're going to be the winner for the Dory to make a course. Brilliant. Listen, congratulations and huge thanks for everybody for joining in. Huge thanks for everybody has shared. Huge thanks to the secretary, so Sue Way, Way and, and Trisha, Susan, yeah, Trisha, done a great yeah, job. And Charlie ladies. was in there and as well. Charlie was in there helping out as well. Pop over to Charlie's page. Make sure that you comment underneath the purple um, photograph that he has up with the purple twigs and that. Comment that you're from Hayes Flower School because he's going to pick a winner over on his page. And again, he'll announce that on Monday or Tuesday. And we'll see you all back here next Friday at 11, 11 o'clock. Actually, no, next Friday it's going to be half 11 because I can get my second vaccine at 11 o'clock. Oh, all right, so put that down in your notebook. Half 11 next Friday. We're a half an hour later. All go well because Deirdre has to get her vaccine and hopefully they're not delayed up the doctor's surgery. I'm on the list now. I'm on the wait list for the, the vaccine as well. Um, anybody else get their vaccine? Comment below and let us know did you just get your vaccine and how did everybody get on? So listen, goodbye, good luck. Have a fabulous weekend. Hopefully the weather keeps up and I'll see you all next week again. Bye-bye everyone. See you soon.